Hello, my fabulous dancers. My name is Noel Alonso, and I'm your dance professor here on YouTube. So, for today, we're going to be covering uh, footwork in our um, in our American style foxtrot. Smooth foxtrot is a little bit different from international style foxtrot. Just realize that international style foxtrot is going to be everything danced in a closed position, not closed position, closed position, but a closed position meaning that we're not going to leave frame. Whereas in smooth, we do leave the frame relatively early on. That way we have a little bit more dynamicism, uh, a little bit of an opportunity to add uh, jazz, funk, and some type of uh, swingy fusion um, into this particular style of dance to give it its, its character, okay? So, today we're gonna to be covering our basic, again, as well as our reverse basic, in order for us to understand the footwork principles behind Foxtrot, okay? So, having said that, let's get into some Foxtrot. So, um, for American style Foxtrot, we already covered the forward basic. So we have our classic basic, which is a walking forward, walking forward, side together. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse that, and instead of going side to the right, back to the thing, we're gonna still go to the left. So we have backwards walking left, backwards walking right, and then we have a side to get a chain quicker. So you can think about this as a part of a turning figure, like a, a natural turn, a natural turn or a right turn. And then going back, back, side together, getting ready for a turning figure, continuing down line of dance. Now, I haven't mentioned that before, uh, this is a progressive, all of our dances in smooth are progressive dance, are progressive dance. That means that they, they travel, they travel, um, uh, counterclockwise around the room. So if you've ever watched NASCAR, uh, smooth as well as international style and standard are like NASCAR. They travel, they move fast uh, around the room. Okay? So you can't stay in one place for very long and you definitely don't want to reverse uh, reverse against a lot of dance. It's going into uh, the basic and then it goes to the reverse basic. So you have a slow, slow, Side chain weight, forward, forward, side chain weight. Now we're gonna reverse this by going back with the left, back left, back right, side to the chain weight, back left, back right, side to the chain weight. Now see how that generally, if you can see from this view, from this view, we have back left, back right, side chain weight, back left, back right, side chain weight. For the follows, we have the same thing. We have going back, back, move to the right, side chain weight, back, back, to the right, side chain weight. We have a straightforward right, straightforward left, and then side to the right, chain weight, forward right, forward left, side to the other chain weight. Now, for our footwork, the footwork in this dance is, no, is pretty straightforward. Any forward walking step is going to be a heel to the toe. And then the side step for the moment is going to be toe, heel, toe, heel. Those are the types of way. This is the first way that you have to do this. So you have forward, heel, toe, forward, heel, toe, toe, heel, toe, heel. So for those of you who danced a little bit of tap before, this is going to make a little bit of sense. But you don't want to go... It's supposed to sound like... It's supposed to sound just like gliding feet across the floor versus... Not like that. So okay for us to so heel, so heel, so heel, so heel. So for the follow, it's a little, a little easier, um, relatively speaking. Now, in reversing that, so as a follow, we have forward right, heel toe, heel toe, to the side right, toe, heel, toe, heel. And then it's going to be up heel toe, heel toe, and then to the right, toe, heel, toe, heel. Okay? For the lead again, we have Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick again, slow, quick, quick, so heel, toe, heel, 
So heel, so heel. So for this particular uh, step pattern, again, you're not going to use this back to back. This is just a, as, a, as a training principle in order to get a better understanding for how your feet, uh, footwork uh, is going to work when going uh, for a side step or for a forward, a forward driving action, a backwards uh, walking action. That way you become better and more well rounded dancer. So, hopefully today's video helped you out in understanding the basic footwork for our basic patterns in uh, Foxtrot. So, if you learned anything today, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Next week is on Saturday.